February is soon coming to a close. With that comes the month of March. Today we'll be discussing sneakers to resell in the month of March. If you're not into reselling, that is okay as well. You could use this guide to know what are going to be the most hype sneakers, the most limited, or even what popular general releases may potentially go on sale because hey, we're all trying to save some money. Specifically, we will be discussing the name of the sneaker, the retail, the release date, and whether the sneaker will be profitable or not, or if they may even sit on shelves, resulting in a sale price. Feel free to subscribe and even post notifications this way you always stay 100% updated on all these profitable releases also be sure to follow my twitter for urgent updates and info keith adam 10 and also personals for you such as all these recent shock drops that we have been seeing buckle up because march is looking absolutely insane kicking it off with march 1st for 110 dollars the nba nike dunk low emb 75th anniversary chicago will finally be having their delayed u.s drop while europe has already dropped these these should still remain very profitable Profitable with a great margin. Next up, also on March 1st for $110, the Dunk High University Red may potentially be dropping. Now I say potentially because these are currently only loaded on Finish Line, JD, and DTLR, and sometimes those calendars tend to be inaccurate. Europe has already released these as well, but regardless, whenever they do end up dropping for US, they should be profitable with a good margin. Also on March 1st for $160, the Women's Up Tempo Summit White will be dropping. Unfortunately, I do not expect these to be profitable, but if you do want a personal, I wouldn't suggest sleeping on these as I do expect them to sell out. Moving on to March 3rd for $250, the JJJ New Balance 990 V3 Olive will be having their worldwide release. Just a couple of days ago on the 24th, they had their JJJ exclusive drop. Currently, they're selling in the mid 400s and thus are profitable with a good margin, which I do expect to only decrease by a minor amount after the main drop, considering how limited stock is. So, I'd still expect them to be profitable with a good margin regardless. Also on March 3rd for $200, the Jordan 1 85 cut navy will be releasing in Europe while the US should be later this month. These should certainly be profitable with a good margin in all sizes while the larger sizes should be the best of which. Moving on to March 4th for $140, the Jordan 1 Low Golf University Blue will be dropping. These have absolutely incredible demand, much more than the other Jordan 1 Low Golfs in fact, hence I am expecting these to remain very profitable with a great margin. In addition to many more hyped releases this month, I also have some incredible news for those of you who have been patiently waiting. If you're looking to take your reselling game to the next level, whether it be through sneakers, clothing, PS5, GPU, sports cards, artwork, NFTs, Funkos, concerts, tickets and much more then you're in luck endurance will finally be having a limited restock on march 3rd thursday 4 p.m eastern time 10 p.m cet via the endurance twitter in just february alone we've provided precise detailed early information for numerous shock drops such as the jordan 6 unc drop jordan 1 patent bread shock drop lebron scratcher jordan reserves nike app restocks and much more along with many other cookouts such as an air monitor that resold for over a thousand dollars in profit along with multiple snipes cookouts thanks to our bypass don't worry Endurance has your back, just like it has for the past four years of providing early information with exact times, dates, drop methods, and even free custom-coded spoofers for members to ensure everyone's able to cop with ease. Don't take it from me though, the success really does speak for itself, such as the 300 pairs and well over $500,000 in cumulative profit on the MCA Air Force One, in addition to the recent ICA Air Force One sneaker stash as well. Furthermore, in addition to numerous free software programs and Chrome extensions to help you cob manually, such as our free auto checkout extension that supports numerous sites or even our Q tool to help pass any type of waiting room. We're also always innovating to find bypasses and exploits on new sites for our members, such as our recent cookouts from our QWIP bypass links for Snipes, New Balance, and much more. Or how about the early new domain links on Shopify drops? If there's an advantage to be had, rest assured, Endurance will find it first. I could really spend all day listing every single feature from retail plugs in numerous stores to custom monitors and early link, but instead, I'll let you check out the Endurance website and Twitter yourself, link in the description below. Besides, the success and members themselves quite literally speak for themselves. So remember, the limited Endurance restock will take place on March 3rd, Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. CET, via the Endurance Twitter. Also on March 4th for $160, the Uptempo Alternate Split Navy Red will be dropping. Unfortunately, I'm not expecting these to be profitable, but I am expecting them to sell out, so if you want a personal, don't sleep. 
Then on March 5th for $120, the SB Dunk High Passport Pack will be dropping. Don't get this confused with the Union Collab, although those will also be dropping sometime in March, although we do not have the exact date as of now. Anyway, these are a separate Passport collaboration. Regardless, I am still expecting these to be very profitable with a very good margin. As for those Union Dunks, we discussed those in their own video, and those should also be dropping in March as well. And of course, those are very profitable with an incredible margin. But anyway, also on March 5th for $210. The Jordan 6 UNC official drop will be occurring after we already saw 70,000 pairs released via the shock drop. Hopefully you guys were following the Twitter for that. Anyway, despite the high stock, considering the demand is also so high, I'm still expecting these to remain profitable, although with only a subpar margin, with large sizes being the best of course. Grade school size will still be dropping too for $140 as well. I'm only expecting very low profit with a poor margin on the larger sizes for those. Also, on March 5th for $200, we may potentially be seeing the Jordan 4 blank canvas release, although I say potentially because they seem to be delayed until later in March, but regardless, they should still be dropping sometime this month. Anyway, whenever they do end up dropping, I am expecting them to be profitable with a subpar to decent margin, primarily in the larger size. Nothing too crazy, but an easy money opportunity nonetheless. Also, on the 5th for $230, we should be seeing the Yeezy 350 MX Frost Blue. Unfortunately, I am not expecting it to perform as well as the recent Yeezy 350 Dazzling Blue, but regardless, I am still expecting them to be profitable with a subpar margin, primarily in the larger sizes though. Similarly, we may also be seeing the Yeezy 350 Onyx drop on March 5th for $230 as well. However, I do suspect that these will be delayed until later in the month, as I don't expect both of these 350s to drop on the same day. But this is what current sources are saying right now, and you'll tend to see this trend with a lot of Yeezys we're discussing this month. At the moment i personally think a lot of these are going to be delayed but this is what they're saying at the moment regardless similar to the mx frost i'm only expecting small profit on these with a subpar margin primarily in the larger sizes then on march 7th for 160 dollars the lebron 19 fruity pebbles will be dropping unfortunately i'm not expecting these to be profitable but i do expect them to sell out so if you do want a personal don't sleep then on march 7th for 60 dollars each we may potentially be seeing the easy slide ochre and pure re release along with the release of the Yeezy Slide Onyx, although this may be delayed as I was mentioning earlier. Regardless, all three of these colorways will remain very profitable with a great margin on each of them whenever they do end up dropping. Then on March 8th for $210, the Jordan Sick Mint Foam Women's will be dropping. Unfortunately, I'm not expecting these to remain profitable, but I am expecting them to sell out, so if you want a personal pair, don't sleep. Moving on to March 10th for $120, the Dunk Low Paisley Green may potentially drop but I do suspect that these may be delayed as well as the blue pair since only Finish Line and JD have them loaded on their calendar and those calendars tend to be notoriously unreliable. Regardless, whenever they do end up dropping, I'm expecting these to be very profitable with a great margin. Then on March 11th for $210, the delayed Jordan 12 playoffs will finally be dropping. Although demand is high on these, so is stock. And I'm unfortunately only expecting lunch money with a poor margin on large sizes at best, and that's if you have no tax, or you can sell these locally. Also, on the 11th, we should be seeing the Yeezy 350 Bone release for $230. Similar to the other 350s we did discuss, I'm still expecting these to be profitable, but only with a subpar margin, primarily in large sizes. Also, on the 11th, we may potentially be seeing the Yeezy Foam Runner Mist and Stone Sage dropping for $90 each, although, again, I do suspect that these will also be delayed. Regardless, whenever they do end up dropping, I am expecting them to be very profitable with a great margin. Then, on the 12th, for $170, we should be seeing the Jordan 1 Rebellion Air drop. Demand is actually extremely high on these, contrary to what I initially expected, although it will certainly dip closer to the drop. Regardless, I am expecting these to remain profitable with a good margin, so definitely another drop to look forward to. Also, on the 12th for $100, the SB Dunk High Oski Shark will finally return in the white colorway now, as we already saw the black color in 2019. Anyway, I'd expect these to perform like those black pairs did initially, allowing for 
easy profit with a good margin still, but not what you're seeing in the market right now for those black pairs. Then on the 14th for $200, the Yeezy Desert Boot Rock will be making its return after a delay. While small sizes are just personals, large sizes are actually very profitable. Then on the 19th for $210, the Jordan 13 Dell Soul will release. Although pre-sale is currently high at the moment, I'm not expecting this to last once the drop approaches. At best, I'm only expecting these to be good for local sales if you have no tax. Then the same goes for the Jordan 7 Sapphire dropping for $210 on the 22nd. Unfortunately, these are mostly just personals unless you can sell them locally. More exciting on the 22nd, the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner will once again be making a return for the original $300 retail. Despite the high retail, these always tend to maintain some profitability with a subpar margin despite there being so many restocks. So I'd still look forward to this drop. Just don't expect a good margin because that retail is very high. So it's inevitable that you're not really going to get that good of a margin. Then on the 24th, the delayed Jordan 8 Roy Hoshimara will be releasing for $225. Despite that high retail, I am expecting this collaboration to be profitable with a decent margin or better, primarily in the larger sizes. I'm not a fan of 8s personally, but I definitely need a personal pair for these. Definitely a big fan of this color combination. Then on the 25th, Jordan 5 Jade Horizon will finally be dropping after a few delays for $200. I'd only expect lunch money with a poor margin on large sizes at best if you have no tax, otherwise just local sales. Then on the 26th for $210, the Jordan 3 Canvas will be dropping. At the moment, I'm mainly just expecting these to be good for local sales and at best maybe lunch money with a poor margin in large sizes if you do have no tax. And lastly for today, we should also be seeing the SB Dunk Low St. Patrick's Day release for $110. I'm expecting these to be very profitable with an incredible margin whenever they do end up dropping, although at the moment there is no date. But anyway, that'll conclude it for today. As you can see, we have an amazing month ahead already and many more will pop up throughout the month. Hence, make sure you do subscribe and enable post notifications. This way you stay 100% updated. Also, if you feel leave a like, if you enjoyed, or perhaps if you learned a thing or two, remember the limited endurance restock will take place on March 3rd, Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. CET via the Endurance Twitter. Also, feel free to check out the links in the description below for liable, fast, residential proxies and pre-verified Nike sneakers or Adidas accounts. Also, feel free to follow Gargantua AIO on Twitter for updates on the next restocks. Last but not least, make sure to follow Keith Adam 10 and personals for you. This way you guys stay updated on all urgent info like I was discussing today. With that though, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day and of course, good luck on all these upcoming releases.